Now we can't say. Sandra Bernard is joining us. Yeah. Uh, hi, dolls. Good to see you. That's so nice. That's so nice. I mean, we always meet up in New York, the, the big, um, serious building, and here we are. And look, look at this. It doesn't look get better. Luster Wave. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes. We sit on the edge of the ocean and be together at the end of the summer on Labor Day when so many people work so hard to get us where we are. We can soak this in, and we're just all like. Lazy and sexy and loose <laughs> <laughs> and eating delicious garden fresh. Gar yes, vegetables from our friend who brought. Thank you for bringing those in. You're They're so delicious. And as I mentioned, I'm hoping you'll bring me some cilantro. <laughs> Oranges will be up a batch of guacamole. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it too smooth. I like it chunky. So you know, a little bit of purple onion, a little tiny bit of tomato, a little, little spicy. Whip that by. The people know where to find me. You'll find me. <laughs> She'll be following. Do something the smell nice the for Sandy. Uh, <laughs> we would do that every day. You know we're crazy. We're we are so glad. I mean, you didn't go anywhere, but you are back with the vengeance in a huge way. Everywhere. Uh, you know, all performers ebb and flow. You know, we're we're creative beasts. I'm always in the in the in the throes of creating. But you can't always put it out there, because then you just start to look desperate. <laughs> so sometimes you have to lay back, you have to like recharge. I'm here with Mitchie Kaplan, my musical director. We just wrote a new song we'll be playing, we'll be performing tonight at the Crown and Anchor. We have a catalog of songs. Most people don't even realize how many songs we've written over the years, Mitchie and I. So we'll be throwing one of our new, newest songs into the mix tonight. And it's just so great to be back in, in P-Town, you know. It's so nice. When you can be in a place where you don't have to make excuses for yourself, for your sexuality, or your crazy behavior, you can just roll around town, scream, yell, throw yourself into the beach at night, nobody cares. <laughs> <laughs> they do talk the next day. He yeah. saw Sandra Bernard. Oh, I, I wasn't saying I was going to Oh, no, but that would be For sake, you know, I have more taste than that. <laughs> Crazy drunks and freaks of the of the community. And we've assembled here to see you. <laughs> That's what it is. Everybody's in great shape, in good form, looking very, very relaxed and chic. So we saw your show when it was a town hall in Thank New York you. City. Yes, yes, yes. Amazing. And we saw you with a completely, I don't know how someone does a completely different show last October in San Francisco as part of that, which is, which and, is an album and it was captured on CD. That's right. And I'll be selling my CDs and other merchandise at the show tonight and signing afterwards. You can sit down with me. I'll sign, take photos, buy, buy some of my merchandise, support the cause. You know, I'm not an overly commercialized performer or artist after being in the business for, you know, performing since 1974. You know, it's a long time. You've never seen and you me work. really pour the shit out. <laughs> 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 like, like I could so easily do. But you know what? you got to, like, pace yourself. If you want to have a lifetime of artistry and creativity, you can't just blow it all at once. Yeah. Or expect people just to, like, spend millions of dollars on your crown. So I paste it out. Well, it's true. And, and I, uh, when you do go to see you, you get to see, you fall, I always say this to her, I say you fall in love with Sandra Bernard all over again every time you see her. Thank you. It's just so terrific to see her. And But I, I was a little hurt. I, I realized. I, I hurt you. Yeah, hurt you, you didn't do, the night, I heard you now do Edis 2 in your show. I'll be doing that tonight. Uh, 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 we saw, I remember, I said, I said, she did Kiss Me Deadly. I said, yeah, I said, she did NS2. And I said, oh, I don't remember if she did NS2. No, 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 no. I was at the Red Cat. You did that. That's right. Yes. That's right. My Red Cat shows were really... How, how did that go? You well, were there were nine sold out yeah. nights in Los Angeles at the Red Cat. Um, fantastic review in the LA Times. Which was so, you know, we, every artist, like, we don't sit and wait for our reviews. But honestly, when you get a review from somebody who really gets the, the levels and the layers and the many tears literally and figuratively of your work you know it's a, it's a nice feather in your cap and it helps you get other gigs so i'm i'm, I'm so pleased with my la run and it's one of your home you know i mean la was where really you lived there for it's where i started yeah. it's where i first started performing back in the 70s and i you know it's where i met mitch kaplan where i've done a lot of my, my um sourcing and, and, and programming 
and it's always good to go back and get some um, the accolades. It's it's good. It's terrific. And they love it. They were eating out. Oh, New York was like a, it was like a well, revival meeting. New, well, New York was amazing. I mean, first of all, you know, I had Justin Bond. Justin Vivian Bond was on the performance with me. And that Liza Minnelli woman was there. That Liza, <laughs> that old, you know, throwback to another time, Liza <laughs> Minnelli. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're kidding. That would a thrill. And um, of course, um, who else was on? I know. Yeah, I'm thinking, there's a group. Yeah. Oh, oh, Rufus Wainwright. Thank you. So that was a really exciting night. Because you know when you do New York and you do a big show in New York, you got to kick it up to a whole new level, which we did that night. Does he get funny when he's not on stage? Because is Rufus funny in Brian? I wouldn't think of Rufus. I wouldn't sit and slap my knee over. But I mean, I don't consider Rufus like a, a, one of our common geniuses. <laughs> I wonder if he loosens up in private, if he's ch chatty and funny. Yes, yes. And, he's know. chatty, he's chatty. But he's, you know, he's a serious person. <laughs> he's been through a lot of trauma. Well, you're a serious person too, but you're funny, you know, I mean, that's... Well, you know, I mean, that's, I, that's how I release my, my anxiety through my humor. I like that, though. I yeah, do, I get that. We all need it, we all need it.